Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to go over ways to grow your business and income. I'm going to try to turn down this heat a little bit because actually I'm not bear with me please it's, it's, it, I'm in Michigan and it's not the coldest today but it's definitely not the warmest either um, I have some errands to run today and I'm, I'll be busy tomorrow as well um, for a good portion of the day so I wanted to go ahead and get this video out here um, I work with a lot of different entrepreneurs and there are always uh, people that are interested in making more money doing more um, one of my motivations is to have as much time as I possibly can uh, while earning as much money as I can and in order to do that I had to really think about what ways can I structure my day to make very intentional and wise decisions and moves so that I can live out that that goal of mine because I am a um, family oriented person I enjoy spending time with my family I enjoy being able to be available if I want to talk on the phone to a family member or go visit a family member or friend or um, let's say my children are doing like a, an activity or a performance or they want to do some type of like a uh, out of school extracurricular activity let's just blanket that um as just you know let's say they want to do activities i want to be able to be there um time is something that you really can't get back and time is so valuable and precious that um, i enjoy being able to have the flexibility to be present in uh, my you know my family's lives my friends lives and also in my life for things that i want to do for myself as well so i'm going to be talking about some things that i have um, learned and some things that i do to make sure that i am working towards getting more time back in my day and also making more money if you are interested be sure to give the video a big thumbs up please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into it the first tip that I have, the first thing that I do is I pair up with companies to try to solve a problem that they didn't know they had and I work out a comm commission structure. So I'll do another video in depth about that, but just to kind of touch the surface, uh, when I mentioned problem and when I did like the bunny ears, I'm doing that because sometimes as an entrepreneur um, in sales, you have to show people what they're missing. You have to be the one to take the initiative to show people why they need your services. So they may have a problem that they did not know that they had. For example, there is a certain company that's local and they do different like home renovations and they do different um, like landscaping for houses and things like that. And I am doing some other things on the back end too. Uh, like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I have multiple streams of income. So I'm not just uh, recording YouTube videos. I'm not just working on my podcast. I don't just sell hair extensions. Um, there's a lot of different things that I'm doing. And um, before I bring some of the other things that I'm doing to the forefront uh, on this channel, which I am going to do, I, I like to get my foot wet a little bit or my feet wet a little bit. Uh, normally, I take you all uh, along with me through the very beginning stages and everything like that, but I'm going to change my approach a little bit this year. Um, so I was able to work with this particular company and um, they came to me with some ideas and um, I came to them with some ideas and ultimately I was able to point out some of the things with their business that they are um, not as efficient in. And I was able to explain how I could help with the services that I offer, um, increase their revenue, um, broaden their book of business and ultimately upscale their, their whole company. Now, in order to do this, you wanna make sure that you are building a reputable um, name behind your brand. You know, you want to make sure that people can rely on you and trust you. And that's why a lot of times in my podcast, I talk about the importance of building on a solid foundation. Uh, once trends die, once the hype dies, what lasts is truth and authenticity. And so I try to convey that in all of my messages as clear as I possibly can. A lot of people don't see it, and a lot of people get discouraged when they see people um, changing with the trends constantly. And, and don't get me wrong, it is, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of perks with staying relevant and um, staying, you know, up to date with the trends. I'm not knocking that at all, but I'm, I'm referring to people that are solely focused on what's trending and solely focused on what's popular, not really focused on being a genuine, good hearted person. Um, once you start to have a reputation for being honest and for working in integrity, you can really do anything 
anything that you want to do, honestly. Um, so because of that, because of how I've uh, structured my hair business and how I have um, been honest and shown integrity with that when I had my salon here in the community and just, you know, different businesses that I work with um, and, and, and that I do, I'm able to um, go up to different business owners and work with different businesses that have nothing to do with hair, nothing to do with podcasting, um, but everything to do with wanting to increase their business and become more successful. So I take the um, experience that I have gathered from my mentorship, um, me mentoring other businesses and entrepreneurs, as well as my business consultations, as well as my life experiences, opening and running a salon, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as um, working with different businesses, their websites and with their sales structures and you know my, my baking experience and things like that. And pretty much we came up with this collaboration where I get a percentage um, off of the people that I refer to them based on some of the things that I'm doing behind the scenes. And they also get the benefit of having more clients, also paying some of their customers and clients back over to me. So it's like a collaborative, um, collaborative partnership where we're both working together for the same goal uh, but it, it initially started with a problem that they did not know they had so uh, what I would recommend doing is thinking about some of the um, businesses that you have in your community and just think about you know there's a lot of times people get to gossiping about why they don't like a certain business why they don't like a certain entrepreneur and they talk about all the reasons I have my notes here by the way they talk about all the reasons why this business shouldn't be in business and why this business isn't doing what's right and I challenge you all instead of doing that figure out what they what would you do how could you help and then pitch that to them a lot of us are very nervous to do so but I'm telling you if you can overcome that nervousness and be willing to help those that you see that are hurting let them know a problem or the problem or problems that you can see that maybe they didn't see and then work out a commission structure or some type of collaborative agreement where you both can get paid off of your expertise and maybe um, you know you can get more clients based on what they're doing you have to be strategic in this but this is one way to grow your business and also to grow your income. Um, like I mentioned, I have multiple businesses, so I'm not focused just on one area of making money. I found that doing that, it really tied up a lot of my time because I started to get really distressed. I started to become overwhelmed and I started doing a lot, a lot of things and it felt like my day was just tied up. Now don't get me wrong, some days your days are gonna be tied up when you're an entrepreneur, but um, I just felt like I was being tied up with just one specific area. And although I talk about branching your business out so you can be in the hair industry and have multiple streams within that hair umbrella, but it's also okay to go outside of the hair industry and have um, different options outside of hair as well. So, and the reason I'm referring to hair for those of you that don't, that don't know is because I do have a hair business and a lot of my videos on this channel have been related to um, hair until I started branching out. And a lot of you have noticed my content started to broaden when I started to work with different entrepreneurs and I started to tap into different fields. Um, so that's the first point. And I'll be going and making another in-depth video about how to go to different companies and um, propose your solutions um, to their problems and how to get paid for doing that in another video. So make sure that you're subscribed and that your post notifications are on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and order this food and then I'll come back with number two. I'll just take one moment. Okay, so while I'm waiting on my food, I'm gonna move on to number two. So number two is tie up your money and have it work for you. Why is investments? One of the big misconceptions with entrepreneurship is that the more money you make, the better you'll just be. And it's not just about making money. I've worked with a lot of different businesses that have just focused on making money, generating revenue, and their business um, did not do as well as they hoped that it would do. Um, and, and part of that is because having a successful business is not just about making money. You have to also dive into financial uh, literacy and understand what is going to keep the money in your business you can make a lot of money and if you don't have the right practices behind how to invest the money what to do with the money you may find yourself doing a lot of work with no results not the results that you're looking for at least and so um, you know tying up your money what figuring out how you can make your money work for you Yes, thank you.
Thank you. Thank you all for your patience. Um, like I mentioned, you know, some days it's gonna you're gonna be jam packed, but you know you you know what you're working towards. I'm not really that jam packed today, but I like to get a lot of things done, most of the things done that I need to accomplish before my kids get out of school. So um, that's why I am pretty much like on like the move right now because I've been working all morning and um, I have a couple more hours that I'm going to be really working before I'm going to clock out for the day, so to speak. So tie up your money. Um, some of the ways that I recommend tying up your money, um, whether you have a business or whether you, you don't, even if you're contemplating on starting a business, is looking into CDs. Now, tie up your money into CDs. I'm not saying you're going to just get a huge check off of doing that. You're, you're really not, depending on the amount that you're tying up. But if you're not looking at tying up a, a substantial amount, you're not going to get a lot, a lot, a lot back. However, it is a way that you can keep from spending your money because you can't just go in and take out the money when you want without any penalty. Um, and, you know, it, it's also a way to have your money work for you. You can earn money on money that you just have sitting around. So I think that's a good a good way to tie up your money. There's other ways that you can tie up your, your money as well. Um, I would also look into... Um, different stocks now I'm not great with stocks at this point I do have I'm, I'm blessed to have an uncle that knows a lot about stocks my brother also is, is very good with the stocks. so when I'm looking at investing my money I go to people that know what they're doing already um, and then I, I take a look based on you know the, the information that they're giving me the research that I have um, accumulated and then I go ahead and I work based on that have you also considered thinking about um, having your money work for you where you absolutely have to do nothing when you wake up. You're, you're waking up, you're getting coffee, you're still generating income. I talk about that a lot when I talk about my mobile money series. Um, and I talk about different ways on how to generate mobile money. But the goal for me and a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with is to pretty much be able to live your life and get paid while you're doing that. Of course, there are going to be times that you need to work, but having freedom and flexibility is just amazing because life really opens up for you. You're able to really do what you want to do and live life to its highest potential without having to worry about working very, very hard and allowing work to overtake the pleasures that come along with life. I'm all for working hard. I'm not saying that entrepreneurs don't work hard, but I'm saying that you work hard in a different way. So there are ways that you can outline your life and outline your business so that you don't have to necessarily work hard every day, but you're still financially set. I have people that come to me to, to this day and they're like, wow, you know, you literally just were living in another state. You moved back, you moved multiple places. I've been moving very frequently over the last year and a half. And um, I give all glory to God that I'm financially able to do that. But when I think back about it, I, I look at, because people ask me how, how are you able to do that? And I look at the structure in my life compared to how I was when I first started my business. And when I first started my business, I was really tunnel vision. I didn't think I was, but I was really focused just on one specific way of making money. And um, it wasn't until I got further into business, I'm always learning and I always want to come to you all with updates of what I've learned, um, that I've learned that it's okay to do more. Um, but you don't necessarily have to be more busy doing that. So um, I'll be making some more videos on how to structure your day and how to open up your day so that you do have more opportunities. Because another thing that happened when I was really, really jam-packed and slammed with work, there would be opportunities that I couldn't even identify because I was so busy trying to get this task done. And um, it's kind of like I was just like in this, this on this wheel, this, uh, this you know, uh, never-ending wheel, um, trying to just catch this cheese instead of, stepping off the wheel for a moment and kind of just looking around to see wow you know not only is it this wheel but there's a whole other um what do, what do hamsters play with like a whole nother play play area over here and there's a whole nother um uh, uh water bowl over here and there's a whole you know what i mean like there's just so many more opportunities and um using the skills that i have not just with uh, or in the hair industry but like my financial my baking um history and uh, working with different entrepreneurs and um, helping people be able to get qualified for um, business loans and funding. Just all of that, I was able to take the, the skills that I had and also be able to identify. Uh, great strength to have is being able to identify problems and also solutions. And a lot of times we're um, 
kind of programmed to only identify and spot out problems, but not really the solution for it. So I challenged myself to find solutions, and that goes back to number one, that really helps me um, earn more money as well, being able to do that. Uh, the third thing that I wanna go over is connect with your community. So tomorrow I actually have a meeting. I don't think I'm gonna vlog it. I may vlog a portion of it, or I may take a picture, I'm not sure. But I have a meeting with someone in the community that's uh, pretty influential in my eyes, and they have uh, put in the work um, they've made a good amount of money in the line that they do. They have a uh, great respect uh, uh, in their, their industry. And I'm connecting with them for some of the same uh, similar pur uh, purposes that I went over with number one. Being able to identify and solve some of the um, problems that they can see in my business and um, be able to help um, by pairing up possibly or whatever way we come up with and strengthening my business and then also looking for ways that I can strengthen theirs and add value to them. I'm always looking at ways to add value to whoever I come into communication with and to contact with and that really helps me too. It's a two-way street. So what can you offer and what can I offer? And when I say that, a lot of people are like, what, you're always looking to get something? Well, if, it's, if you're looking at business and you're not looking at how you can add value to yourself or others, then my question is, what type of business are you doing? Because that's one of the things that should definitely be um, addressed you know how can we both add value to each other's business and or life and um, if you're not doing that then I, I feel like it's a waste of time I don't want to I don't want to have a um, business partner or business mentality when where, where no one is wondering or striving to add value we're just sitting there talking but a lot of times when you find people that aren't interested in adding value you may find yourself not really being focused on um, you know, like whatever you initially came to the table with, you know, you're focused on something else or the conversation takes another turn and you're like, what? This is not at all what I signed up for. I thought we were going to be doing some other things. So look in your community for people that are on the same path as you are. You don't necessarily have to be in the same industry. You don't have to be doing the same thing, but ask yourself, um, how can I add value to this person's life? And then have enough confidence to draft up a plan, like I mentioned with number one, um, and propose that to them. You know, I, I think a great angle is to solve a problem. You don't want to come to someone and just say, hey, you have these five problems that I identified. Let me tell you how I can fix them. You, know, you want to come at it in a different way, um, but that's pretty much the idea behind it. Uh, being able to always offer your assistance and uh, the resources that you come with um, and charge for that. What is going on? I hope everything is okay back there. Um, the last thing that I'm gonna go over is adapt more skills, so think ahead. So with this meeting that I'm having tomorrow um, with this particular person, this person has a lot of skills in the industry that they're in. Now, I'm not in the industry that they're in. However, I'm not opposed to jumping in the industry either. I'm not saying that you want to have your hands in so many different pots that you start to become overwhelmed and you actually start losing money. But once you get your businesses to a position where you don't have to necessarily be present every single day in order to make money, in order to still fulfill what you need to have done, um, then it's going to free up a lot more of your time. And if you love business, then naturally you're going to find some other avenues to get into to generate revenue and to also find more fulfillment. So um, I'm interested in learning more about this man's skills, um, some of his experiences, some of the obstacles that he has faced, how he's overcome them, um, how the money looks, how the revenue is in this particular industry at this point. Um, you know, the certifications that are associated and things like that. So always be looking to add more skills. Um, once you have more skills under your belt, once you gain more knowledge, then you're able to go out and sell the knowledge and the skills that you have to increase your, your, your revenue. So when people ask, you know, how can I make more money? My Instagram likes are low. This is, you know, low. This is low. I say don't get discouraged based on just your likes because regardless if people are liking the picture or not, you're still putting that information out there and you're pretty much building your, your profile. You're building your, um, how do I want to say it? I'm thinking of the word right now, but your portfolio. So if someone wants to look you up, they can go ahead and see pretty much what you're, what you're about. And you want to make sure that, like I mentioned before, it's rooted in authenticity. Because I've seen people that have a lot of likes, but they don't have in, in, in real life, they don't have as much respect and they're not able to really move around to make some of these business agreements um, based on how they have done business in the past. So it's really important that you keep close your um, ethical 
you know, values, you, you stay uh, current with your moral compass, and you treat people right in business, and you always look for ways to connect um, in a way that's going to bring value to someone. Because even if, you know, let's say that you all meet, you meet with the business owner, and they're like, hey, I, I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me, but right now, I don't think, you know, I'm, I'm going to move forward with this offer. If you have come to them and with a genuine spirit, um, with authentic ways to help, genuinely wanting to add value to their life, a lot of times they're going to appreciate that and they're gonna remember you, whether they give you a referral to one of their clients or whether they refer you to someone, a friend or family that they know, whether they hold on to your number and call you months down the line, um, that's definitely going to help. So when people ask, you know, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Um, just know that my best piece of advice is to root yourself in um, specializing in what you specialize in, finding a way to get more time back in your day while still working um, as best as you can. So being efficient with your business, that's going to free up more time for you to look into other ways to make money. Once you start generating income, find, um, find wise ways to tie up your money, smart investments, um, look, speak to a financial advisor, ask what options uh, are available at your bank or financial institution, whether it be a credit union or wherever, wherever else you bank. Just find um, ways that you can tie up your money and actually grow your money while your money's just sitting there. Um, connect with your community, find out what people are doing in your community, find out how you can be a part of that, whether you need to volunteer, whether you want to job shadow, whatever it, it takes to meet more people and to build more business relationships. Um, building uh, relationships, connecting with people, that is all going to help build your brand. And don't exit or you know just decide not to work with anyone because they're not doing exactly what you're doing. I do believe that there's value in building up a community of resources pertaining to your primary industry. So I have a, um, a group of people that I work with that are um, great resources for the hair industry. However, that's not where I stop. I still am open to meeting more people. I do work with different people, like I mentioned, with mentoring and business consultations, and it introduces me to um, other fields that I have the time to dive into to earn money and then adopt more skills. So the more you learn, the more you earn, honestly. The more you can um, use the skills and the experiences that you have um, used or, or that you have um, gone through, that's why I mentioned connecting with people, whether it be volunteering or shadowing or just meeting up for coffee um, and learning more is definitely going to help put more money back into your pocket. So I really hope that this video helped. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.